Hey guys, Alex here at FFM Research. Today we're going to be going over the Ray-Ban Facebook new glasses, the Wayfair glasses they came out with. They can take photos, they got cameras, they can take video. Uh, and the reason we're going to do this review is just because it relates to Facebook stock. This is one of their newest products. I've talked about in some of my Facebook videos how Facebook's getting into this 3.0 of itself where it's getting really focused on hardware, augmented reality, virtual reality, all these different things. And this is the first step into that. All right, so we got the new Ray-Ban Facebook glasses. These are the Ray-Ban Stories wafer design. It's clear lens with blue light and shiny black frame. So in the case, you have the case that holds the glasses. This case is also a charging case, so it connects USB-C. And when we take the glasses out, you can see the charging connector is right here, and it charges right here on it. So when it's sitting in the case, it's charging. When you take it out, we have basically two cameras on each side. The lenses are blue light, so it's good for basically uh, when you're looking at the computer screen or your phone, but they do sell them as sunglasses as well and other designs. So on these glasses, there's a button right here on the top, and this is a touch pad over here. So if you hit this, this basically can play music. You can lower music by sliding or increase the volume by sliding. If you click this once, it will basically take a video and then you can click it again to stop the video. If you hold it, it will take a photo. And you can also use voice commands. So as far as the voice commands go, when you're wearing it, you can say, hey Facebook, take a photo. And it basically takes a photo. So it just snapped the shot. It's gonna get uploaded into the app that you have that accompanies this product. If you want, you can also say, hey Facebook, take a video. And now I've started filming. So as of right now, I'm filming basically. I can also just pause the video by clicking it. I could tell it to stop playing, uh, to stop the video recording. And for as far as controls, if you don't want to be speaking, you just click it once, video started filming, click it again, video stops. And for taking a photo, you just hold it. If you hold it, it just snaps a shot. All of these things end up basically on your phone in the app that it comes with it. It's called Facebook View. So this is the Ray-Ban website. When you go on the homepage, so I just click the logo on the top left on the website, you can see the first thing they show is their partnership with Facebook. You know, these Ray-Ban stories are basically the, the biggest innovation that Ray-Ban, I think, is going to have, you know, as far as technology. So uh, this collaboration, I think, is amazing for Ray-Ban. It's great for Facebook to have a great, like, type of brand and design. And Facebook is trying to get this to as many people as possible. So from my understanding, this is going to be available in like Sunhud and all different types of glasses stores, pretty much wherever you can find Ray-Bans. The idea is that you'll be able to find these glasses. So you can buy them directly on Ray-Bans website and you can buy them in stores as well. Six different timeless designs they show off. Uh, and basically, they kind of really go into a lot of detail on the website. So if you're interested to look on the site, you can find out tons of info on Ray-Ban's website. Uh, and here are a few different designs and how they look. There's different colors. Personally, instead of picking sunshades so I can wear them inside, I went with the clear uh, blue light filter lenses. They have some great choices to pick from. Now to get an idea of the video quality, this is coming directly from the glasses. I recorded this video looking at the app. This is the app that the glasses come with. And this is a photo, just a still frame to see how the quality of their photos look. So the bottom line for these are they're fun glasses. They definitely look better than things like the Google Glass or uh, the Snapchat Spectacles. And they're very similar to the Snapchat Spectacles in a way, uh, but give you more ability to edit and do different things with the photos or videos once you've taken them. I do like the form factor. Uh, there is no augmented reality, if you're wondering, as far as things like that. It's basically just going to be cameras. It's going to look like regular glasses when you're wearing them. You don't see anything. You do hear audio, though. If you're taking a phone call, you can listen. There's a mic, so you can talk back. You can listen to music, but people will hear the music. It's pretty loud, so you know, basically if someone's sitting next to you, they're going to hear your call. So I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're just in your private home or things like that. As far as where it's going to lead is where things start to get interesting. I think the future for them, they're trying to make these augmented reality glasses. Uh, they're basically already pretty good at virtual reality with the Oculus brand that Facebook owns. And this is their first step into getting into your everyday life with glasses. So I'm excited to see where version 2, 3, and 4 go. Now, for anyone curious, we do hold Facebook in our portfolio. I have had the shares for many years, uh, and they have done extremely well over time.
Thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't liked the video, please smash the like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to stay up to date with all our videos coming. Sorry for the poor quality on the audio for this video. We did record it on the go and did not have any mics or equipment, so had to use the computer's microphone. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching.